If you want to date over here, please. This is triple shige. Shige hey. pro max. He was on top of me. <clears throat> and he was it started off strong. He <laughs> Only for my boyfriend to come around and break up with me on my birthday. My ex boyfriend sees my phone, which I bought myself. Ah! Uh -uh. yeah. <laughs> this one can go! Nice one, then we try. He told me I look wretched. Yeah. Had no fashion sense. But every week, you'll be like, babe, can you give me 100 CDs? I'll give it to you later in the day. Wink. <laughs> you are a provider! Yeah. When you find out that the boy is like doing this bullshit and all of that, and then you are still there. Mm -hmm. So he's cheating on you and he's saying he's blaming his friends. That's basically Those like 70% of boys in Ghana. Yes! Just love that y'all are dying for in this. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> like, I used to go back to Because. <laughs> I worry for your mental health, vagina health, and other things. I'll have sex with my campus boyfriend and go home on the weekend and also have sex with the one at home. <laughs> There's safe space, no judgment. Pause, pause, pause. Two hours after we got to his crib, I walked in on my man and my friend fucking. Accra! Accra! Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Janice and I have a very, very, very special guest today. Mahalia. <laughs> and in today's video, we're going to be doing something very fun. We're going to be reacting to your horror dating stories. Now we all know Accra, Accra is messy. So I can't wait to read what you guys have gone through when it comes to the dating scene. Yeah, I'm actually excited. Same. So let's get right into it without wasting too much time. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm going to be reading your stories for today. My so called boyfriend was also dating my brother's girlfriend. The highest disrespect I've ever seen. Wait, wait, say it again. I started with basketballs. <laughs> my so called boyfriend, boyfriend was also dating my brother's girlfriend. The highest disrespect I've ever seen. Your boyfriend. We are trying to understand. <laughs> wait. Okay, wait. My your boyfriend, boyfriend was dating your slow? brother's girlfriend. Okay, okay. Oh, shut up. Are you slow? <laughs> That's crazy. Brother's girlfriend. Hey, nah. Like, okay, continue. So basically, like your sister-in-law. Yeah. Type thing. It means when they go for family gatherings, he's sporting it. Yeah. That's crazy. When they are out chilling, he's sporting it. Yeah. So now you're all just dating each other. Yeah, and the, trust family. Is, the trust is used to be at, like on another Crazy. level. Like. I am in UPSE. I have a boyfriend on campus and at home. I don't know who I love. I'll have sex with my campus boyfriend and go home on the weekend and also have sex with the one at home. I don't like what I'm doing, but I can't stop. <laughs> ah! <laughs> No, but I don't know what advice we can give to this person because he yourself you, you know, know what you are doing. You know like what you are doing, so you should know. Just step back and like analyze. That. Yeah. Um, is this what I want to keep doing? I feel like she should choose, she shouldn't choose like based on just the sex, you know. Yeah. She should choose based on who is benefiting here, which yeah. relationship is more beneficial. Because if you decide to now go for but you okay, where do you live? Because you said you have one in campus and one at home, unless you live like very far away. Because if you say it's not far away. From where? From That's the thing. So it means that the so person probably lives like far. Like far to have like a campus boyfriend and like a house boyfriend. No, some people, even if they are in town, they can really? do it. Like, no, but that's scary because <laughs> what if you go somewhere with the house boyfriend and you meet the couple? You know, you know, pet from the hundredth floor to the three hundredth floor. People yeah. do cheat. Oh, yes. Hey, hmm. why there's a hundred? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Block A is a different word from block C. Hmm. C is a different word from block B. It's true. Even hmm. the same environs. Fear, so. No, but this is not just cheating. No, it's you are in two relationships at the same time. That. that takes a lot of effort, effort. <laughs> energy. Like, are you not tired? Like, so you are saying the person did try? Yeah, because what if you sleep both of try. them in the same day? So you are going to sleep with this one in the morning, going to sleep with this one in the evening. Like, are you not tired? No, why are you talking like you guys are involved? This, 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 this is, is <laughs> <laughs> nice one. I'm going to try. 
This is safe so sorry. This is safe space. No judging. Pause, pause, pause. That's crazy. I feel like I'm not tired. For real. And if if you're in a relationship with both of I know, them. I know so. <laughs> no. Okay. Pass, pass, pass. Sustainable relationship. Who, who is who actually wants, like, like taking care of you? The, nonetheless, just choose one. And choose. Be, like decomplicate yourself, your life. Yeah. Make things less complicated. Because I know even with talking stages and it's like multiple people, yeah. it's very subtle. So if you are having the strength to be doing with, okay. Who does you but stop? Stop. <laughs> I, I worry for your mental health, vagina health, and other things. Okay, next question. But if you get pregnant right now, what will you do? <laughs> you don't even know who it's for. It's called cash out. Hey. I'll be dating a guy, and he'll be like, I don't celebrate birthdays, go out, Valentine's Day, or any special occasion, but expect me to be committed in the relationship. And it sucks. All in the name of he is my first love. Uh. Oh guys, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just avoiding the billings. Like, That's it. Like for real. He doesn't he doesn't really care. Yeah. He just wants you to no, but you can't, you he's can't. testing you and you've unfortunately passed. Mm. So he's seen you as the understanding girlfriend. So, <laughs> so now you um, eradicate yourself from that situation Remove by yourself. vanishing. <laughs> or by vanishing him. Or Honestly. you just keep on saying, oh, it sucks, it sucks, it will forever suck, okay? All I can tell you is, babe, remove yourself. Like, no, because what if you guys get married? So it means wedding anniversary, you won't do anything. There will be nothing like wedding stuff. Do you understand? They will say yeah, the I don't words. celebrate. I don't do weddings. No, that's crazy because... Your birthday comes once in a year. You're telling me once in a year they can't do something nice for you. Exactly. Are you telling me the day I was born on this earth oh. to become your girl? It wasn't special for you. Okay, nah. Next That's color. Crazy. Bye. That's so those born on 29th will be to <laughs> Can you get up? I wish I could snatch you from here. Mm. Okay, so this person is saying it's not her story. I mean the thing is anonymous, so why are you hiding? Exactly. So we don't judge you. Okay. Would you believe the guy disrespects the girl, calls her a whore and a whole lot? He has done it more than once so, and wouldn't apologize. But this guy this girl is still with him because she said she loves him and he loves her. Just love that y'all are dying for in this <laughs> It's not worth it. <laughs> like look at something. Think about it very well. Are you are you in love and do you like your partner? There are two different things. Because yeah. sometimes you can be in love, but, but you then you don't like, like your partner, yeah. so you're not happy, and you'll never be happy. So just like free Ooh, yourself. Yeah. I, mean, I, I just keep telling people, free, free yourself. yourself. If you are in something that you're not happy with, like there's freedom. Oh, you're not in shackles. Oh, there's no. It's not Who prison. It's not prison. You can just say, wait. You can wake up one day and say, I don't want this. No one is yeah. happy sentence you to anything no. i mean some people <laughs> find it very hard to let go yeah but honestly right. sometimes like weigh the go, options like, yeah let's weigh the good and much the bad better. Yeah. if you feel like you're not seeing anything positive or ever right. since you met this person your life hasn't um mm-hmm. elevated improved, or improved yeah. or something Jesus. like that then there's no exactly. point like find better god is actually giving you signs like you yeah. need to find better and every time you be like it sucks it sucks it's a sign it's like yeah. something is telling you that nah why am i still here like let me get out so don't ignore the signs because if somebody if you're in a relationship with somebody and a person can be calling you a whore and stuff like that's that crazy. that that's crazy that's that that's like, like, so like abuse. abuse yeah yeah it's yeah. toxic it's yeah. very toxic and i think this this generation has glamorized Toxic yeah. relationships too much, and like look at Chris, Chris Sean and yeah, like that thing disgusts me. Like those people don't like. Oh my god, if your relationship is looking something like that, just Please. know that you are finished. Get <laughs> out while you still can. Honestly, break yourself. If you need deliverance, break. Let them pray oh, for you and get out of that situation. Because but that's that's from the female perspective. Why do you think he calls her a whore? These are questions we have asked. I mean, what does she do? At the end of no, the day, it's not that's always about mentality. yeah. Oh my god, that's it's not always mentality. about what does she do. Yeah. Sometimes what if, what if men don't happy? need a reason. What if they're in a happy relationship and maybe when she goes out, she doesn't set boundaries. She just talks yeah, to her. Yeah, you talk to her like a human being. You don't exactly her like the human. Or you break up with her. Like if you have a problem, you break up with her. You don't insult her. You don't verbally disrespect the person. Is that simple? But sometimes too, it's like the the relationship was going so well for like a period of time mm-hmm. that it's like when it goes like to shit, they keep 
hold it on to so their the good memories, past, yes, exactly. and they keep like hoping, like, okay, it will get back to here, it will get back to here, will get back. Because please. I'm just, you know, yeah. I'm just letting y'all know. Sometimes it's time to let go. No matter how good it was back then, exactly, it will not get back. Hey, there. we have been saying a lot of yeah, you know, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We are wise. Like, 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 <laughs> you know, someone goes. We like, should do like relationship therapy. <laughs> okay, next one, next one. Bro had been two timing with another girl, and when we both found out and we both confronted him. In his mind, he had done nothing wrong and was just justifying himself, blaming his friends for the decisions he made. It's called deflecting. Ah, so he's cheating on you and he's saying he's blaming his friends. That's Those kind 70% of boys in Ghana. Yes! Oh my god. So basically, mm-hmm. he was two timing, yeah. he had another girl on the side, mm-hmm. and both girls yeah. found out what he was up to. Mm-hmm. So when they confronted him, he was like, it's not him, but his friends were like influencing him to do oh. it. I mean, from his perspective. Are you on his side? <laughs> there are no sides here. There, there are no sides here. I just want to like. We are just engaging in conversation. Exactly. Okay. Because like, okay. there are instances where some guys will have girls and everything, and then there are friends from, let's say, a couple of years behind will be like, Ah, you are still with her. Mm-hmm. Chale, you didn't miss out too. You know, see this girl, she glow up. Chale, for hit them up with a guy say it times. Yeah. But That's how boys are in this yeah. like crowd. No, like but this. this is a clear example of like, if your friend jumps off a cliff, will you jump off a cliff? Exactly. Like, exactly. You, at this point, you are saying that you succumb to peer pressure. So if yeah. your friend gives you a cigarette, smoke, you smoke. Yeah. That's what you are yeah. doing right yeah. now. And I feel like, me personally, I wouldn't like to be with someone who doesn't have a mind of yeah. their own. Because first of all, if you if you at this your big age, you're still like, oh my god, my boys validation, my boys have to like my girl before I'm gonna you yeah, are very stupid because you, you, you have, have to marry person. your yeah. unless you marry your boys yeah. at the end of the day. So you, you don't like, have anything like, to stand for on your own. It's like yeah. everything you do is based you on your, your own. boys, your boys, exactly. your boys. You yeah. have to be your own person, or else like you are literally de- your girlfriend will literally be dating your boys. You don't have a mind. You're like, okay, whatever my boys do, that's what Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's a marriage. What? Sometimes it leads into marriage. Like the whole like it, boys. It, 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 yeah, it goes into not necessarily boys. Mm-hmm. Sometimes mother-in-laws yeah yeah that kind of thing yeah there's always like some so it's like you're letting ex- external factors influence your relationship your relationship should be between you and the person yeah you guys I know what else should be involved. i wonder where you learned that from Charlie. <laughs> hey i will suck you you go to where. the pool someone is wanting their accolades please give it to him i want to let him rest he wants the accolades no but um, honestly like okay well i'm assuming you are no longer with him since both of you found out mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. girl. Do you care? That's the thing. I cry. Why? Like, let me know. This is a very serious issue. I have to sit up and talk to you guys face to face. When, like, wait, when you find out that the boy is like doing this bullshit and all of that, and you see that, okay, no, this is not what I want. Okay, this is not, this is not what I want. And then you are still there mm. in hopes and prayers. I don't know if you are Mary Magdalene or something. What is. Like, it's what the fuck? <laughs> like, because people, when they show you their true colors, that's just like, don't come and yeah. say, oh, there's a good side under there. Let's just come and try and dig it up. No, you're not um, Bob the Builder. He showed, you the, <laughs> he showed you the red flag. Leave. How many more are you looking for? It's like you want them to like build a mountain of red flags before you they can want to see open your eyes. <clears throat> Because yeah, I say protect your peace. Once you see the signs, once you feel the signs, Get out. intuition is a serious thing. God has put it there for a reason. It tells you things. So if you keep on ignoring that, oh, it sucks. I keep knowing that this is not what it is, but it's that girl who said it sucks, you know. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> get out. You know it sucks. So yeah. get out. Because if you are saying it yourself, then you know. You know. Because I know when I saw you. Nigga be begging for money. <laughs> the funniest thing was, I never asked him for money. But every week, you'd be like, babe, can you give me 100 CDs? I'll give it to you later in the day. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. If I give him, I'm not getting it back again. And I can't also be asking him for it. I could. Hey. Girls are suffering. <laughs> <laughs> wink. The wink is what's off me. The wink is what's off I don't even know what to say. Mm. It's just 
What do you mean tell this kind of person? Hey. I mean, no, because if it was like a one-time situation that like was really in some Dif- you get difficult things, but if this one you are sugar, yeah, sugar mommy ho. Do you guess the guy has seen you? Are you are sugar mommy. provider. What is the head of the house? Hey. <laughs> this one, yeah, yeah, sugar mommy. That's it. Just, just start like reversing roles. Give him the skirt. Give him the dress. Yeah. Open the door for him, princess Shimi. He deserves it. But like, because at this point. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. At this point, I'm personally, know. personally, if you ask me, yeah, I think this would only be a problem, or can only be a problem, based on the dynamics of the relationship. Okay. If you knew before going to the relationship that you were getting into a relationship with a relatively less yeah. financially stable guy, and this is happening, no, but the fact that you say I'll pay you back, yeah, pay you back. red flag, yeah. because uh, at least, yeah, I cheat too. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, meaning you're a liar to one. Yeah, a liar. In his defense, he made it clear that he won't pay back. He said wink. <laughs> so I don't know about. I don't know about. But the wink you gave me, I know. He said the wink, but he won't pay back. He said I'll pay back. And he gave me the other wink. So the uh, wink is there. It's like telling you that you know. <laughs> but I feel like okay. I think it's her fault. Yeah. I mean, I think it's her fault. Before you enter a relationship, you should see like where are you. Where is the guy? Yeah, and where do you guys want to end yeah. up? But yeah. also, I feel like you can be in a relationship with somebody that has less than you, mm-hmm. but that person should not feel like they have the right to be asking you for money. Mm-hmm. Unless you've made it clear that, oh, oh I, yeah, want I want to give you money. Be money. Yeah. <laughs> because, hey. Oh, wait. Okay. Unless you, you are okay <laughs> providing. Unless you want to be hey, provider, right. sugar mommy, then. <laughs> If you say I'm making my own money, come and see the way they will attack you. They say it's a man's money. (laughs) I won't even talk about it. Ghana. We know ourselves, so we're not talking plenty. We know ourselves. We know what goes into this. Yeah. Yeah. Think what you want. This, you know, Ama and Gisela, they went on this podcast, Mm -hmm. and Ama was talking about how she thinks all the comments comments. are like she's lying. That that's what they all say and blah blah blah. Uh, but Amma works her ass off. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, like, you know, Amma, you know, Amma, she knows Amma. Yo, like Amma fucking. Yeah, yeah, like I was it's so crazy. crazy. Like Amma works so hard. I was when so she went on and everything was like the biggest. Yeah. Thing, she works so hard. Uh, She's always working. Even the thing I posted um about your video, mm-hmm. I was going through some of the replies. Somebody. Um, replied, so you mean to tell me you bought the iPhone 50 Pro Max with your own money? <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> you can't go, that video it killed me. They were, like, they were like, oh, I mean, she can't choose because she didn't buy the money. I just gave you what iPhone 50 Pro Max is it matching that I'm going to buy, right? It's not like people just have so low standards for girls, especially like social media girls. They think, like, oh, it's a man that is funny. You don't me, me, let me say it here. If a man was funding me, yeah, I would be shy to say it. I would say my man has bought me a phone. Like, I would say to my child. Who would say it? Who would like, say it? Like, me, I'll say it's proud. If there was a man somewhere doing all of this, yeah. it's, it's, it's to be proud. I'll be to very even proud. be happy that, oh, yeah. I'm making the soft girl like, exactly. well, I'm asking about you. I'm asking about you. I'm saying my line. Okay, be there and keep on. That's how you. Would. Like avoid blessings because yeah. like, oh, this is never actually. And they'll be waiting. Only they'll be someone waiting for a man. Yeah. yeah, like that's the thing. You you be like, oh, I can't do it myself. I have to get someone to save me. You never. You never get until to you it. save yourself. Honestly, like that's the thing you need to understand. Sorry to break it to you, but yeah, no man is coming to save you. Please. Exactly. <laughs> Save yourself because yeah. uh, because yeah. because yeah. let me tell you something. A high value man is not going to go for a, a, yeah. a woman that is not. He'll like, look for a woman level. that is also high value. He told me I looked wretched. <laughs> Had no fashion sense, and one time. <laughs> <laughs> let me take it again. Why? He told me I looked wretched. Had no fashion sense, and one time I and one time he felt shy walking with me in public. Like, why would you still keep me for two years if you feel that way? He said, why are you still there? After you've heard all of this. Just pack your load and go. Um, okay, you said that the, the, the other side of life. But still. <laughs> like, your man's, bro. Even me, my best friend told me something like that. Okay, well, you're yeah, my best friend. You can't tell me, but... 
there should be ways you put things if you know that you like care about someone and you don't want to necessarily hurt the person. No, like, but two years. This is very easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. A girl, a girl you are together with, like it's not just a stranger, someone you are with. You're sitting there and look wretched. And I'm embarrassed to walk with, with you. you. Oh, that, no, that's that, 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 that side. That's painful. That's side. That's yeah. side. That side. That side. Yeah. That side. You can't let this slide. That is painful. Mm. Hey, well, babe, I'm that so that sorry. Like, all I can say is I'm so sorry. First of all, I'm sorry you had to hear that. Please leave. It must be painful. I can, all I can tell you is leave. Please leave, say. Leave. <laughs> we also thought that girl should get a No, no, no. That's not the point. What is the point? The point even if she's really not looking good, mm-hmm. the point is how can you be with somebody that can tell you something so hurtful? And first of all, me, my second thing is like after you told me that bullshit, like you had the, eff- like you had the strength, like the confidence to tell me that, and then you you not you not fix the problem. Okay, I'm looking richer. Fix the problem. Now. Yeah, it's my issue. issue. It's an issue, right? <laughs> this the problem. So if you cannot fix it, then what are we doing? Like. <laughs> So, so just in case she's still facing this challenge, mm-hmm. I mean, you girls look like, I mean, you dress really, really good. What advice would you give her on how to put her fits together? Okay. Watch my videos. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I would say try and find your style. Like, try different things. Try to, like, based on your body type, like, try to identify what you feel comfortable in and also what looks good on you. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to, like, be a compromise. You can mm-hmm. find things that you feel comfortable in that still look good mm-hmm. so but yeah. don't you have friends like i feel like <laughs> yeah. because for a man to tell you this doesn't mean there are no friends around you that could have told you I like some, some, some relationships they do it in a way that like they cut off like all their friends all their friends so that's, that's, just, that's also very very yeah. dumb of you i'm that's sorry i'm sorry but if you are that kind of person when you're in a relationship when you your friends are like yeah anymore. yeah just I'm sorry. How should you like look nice? Yeah. I'm like basically just for your age group. That's what I think will first help you yeah. level up. Because I feel like some people they are still stuck in dressing like how they felt was cute like yeah. back then. I was dating this guy for some time and he was broke. <laughs> but then he later got money. Mm-hmm. And everything was cool. Mm-hmm. He then invited me to his new apartment and we had quality time together. Only for him to tell me one night we were making out that he has a new girlfriend, so we should break up. I fainted after. <laughs> I fainted. You have it's it's fainting level though, cause <laughs> this is why they will say don't build with them. <laughs> I, I read, I've I read, heard that thing before. I read this quote. It says, um, "A guy is te- a woman is tested." When a guy has nothing, yeah, and a guy is tested when he has everything, yeah. No, it's but do, do you know what the funny part is for me? He waited till they were making out to tell her that I have a new one last time, let's break one up. last time, just one last time. <laughs> like that's a fact that you couldn't, you I couldn't tell her when were... she was in her house. You let her come to your place. <laughs> you made out with her, and now you are saying let's break up. I have a new girlfriend. Wait, he said let's break up. Yeah. yeah. No. He said let's break up. Oh. He yeah, he said, yeah, he said, yeah, he has a new girlfriend, so we should break so up. So they should break yeah. up. God damn. <laughs> Just to add, I think Mahalia said something earlier. Like, yeah. Guys, a high value man wants to be with a high value yeah. woman. Mm-hmm. So the best thing you can do for yourself as a woman out there is just to like invest in yourself yeah. and like level yes. up. Yeah. Because if you think that you're going to be with, you're going to find this high value man, you're going to stay wherever it is you are, and mm-hmm. it's going to be after yeah. you thinking you're the only one, you're fooling yourself. But also, I have to, I don't know the details of the situation, mm-hmm. but if she was with him since he was broke, mm-hmm. and it's just now that he's making money, mm-hmm. it's like, Consider that fact, yeah. Because it's like yeah. she could have left you for a rich guy long ago, long ago, but she stayed with you. That's another exactly. thing. Though. We don't know the she couldn't, she probably couldn't, probably because you know she hasn't leveled up. And yeah. I understand the situation is because the guy probably has leveled up, he has seen all the nicer yeah. girls he has, the nicer yeah. girls he has now. He has yeah. now accepted the guy, yeah. Yeah. Probably has yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So Yeah, so then bottom line is level up, so this is not going to be your story. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, baby. Get on your brand. Get on your zoom. <laughs> this was my first boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really ready for a relationship because I didn't have the privilege of seeing him all the time and I didn't have a good phone too. But he assured me everything would be fine. He came around my house and met my cousin, only for them to start dating behind me. I suspected it. So that oh. So this so was this not? was my first boyfriend. Okay. I think this is what I wasn't really ready for a relationship. Do you guess this is what turns good girls bad? This, <laughs> one bad. this is like the the villain, villain story, story, like yeah. the <laughs> Trust is using cousins. So this is like beyond girl code. Like she broke my like family code. Oh, apparently yeah, there's a continuation. There's a continuation, so, okay. I'll put on the girl. I'll talk. Hey, relax. So, Let's hear. I suspected it because they go to the beach and all they go to the beach and all that and she visits him too. And my cousin was like my best friend at the time. She invited me to, the, to go to the cinema on my birthday only for my boyfriend to come around and break up with me on my birthday. Wow. Nah. I will act for more. They broke up with somebody at the club. Cinema. Damn. That's yeah. surreal. Damn, I know what yeah. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, let me change my, my camera battery. <laughs> why why you birthday? Oh, like how man. wicked can you be? You've chosen you've stolen your cousin's man and you want to destroy her birthday too. Like this is pure wickedness. She's about to take over. <laughs> but the thing is, relax. So when, when is the right time to break such? Not her birthday. I mean, have a heart. The birthday. Okay, but I'm saying, when is the right time? Um, not her birthday. Exactly, Duh. just not her birthday. So the next day after her birthday. The answer is there is no right time. There's no right time, but it's your birthday is not the worst time. Day. They chose the worst time. It's like every right. year on her birthday, like she's going she's to be thinking about that. Okay, that's true. Yeah, that's like trauma bond. This, this are what can I even say? Like, first of all, like, can you even cut off your cousin? <laughs> mm. You can't. If it was your friend, like, you can. But this one, every family event, like, you see her. Like, no matter what you be in your life, that's the, like the difficult part. That's and cool. if, she, if they continue dating, then you keep seeing them together. That's yeah. so painful. Yeah, that's that's actually very deep because family members and relationships, yeah. I can't imagine this. Nah. He gave me whatever I wanted in the relationship. Love, care and enjoyment. And he broke up with me right after school without any explanation. You got fed up, Charlie. You got tired, bro. Oh. You're looking for the next adventure. Damn. Men probably if you, you doing, found put someone else. Your if you put men as your like priority right yeah. now, oh you would die. You probably found someone else, honestly. <laughs> Woo be woo. But yeah, I feel like I feel like their story is not complete. Okay, we don't know all the sides. So yeah, much yeah. Be everything, but we'll yeah. Be because yeah, exactly. It seemed like it seemed like everything was rosy from his side. Yeah. But what did you do? Yeah. What did you enjoy the most? Yeah. What did you also benefit? What did you give him in like return? Because if he saw no benefit there, then he yeah. would also see that okay, like. Well, we are happened. sorry you went through that, but <laughs> yeah, like life yeah. moves on. Don't mm -hmm. like. Don't like Don't just stress yourself, yourself so much about situation. it. Life moves on, honestly. Yeah. In a few years, you think about it and laugh. Yeah, so or not. don't dwell on the. <laughs> if it didn't happen, maybe there's a reason why it didn't yeah. happen. So just move on. Yeah. yeah. God has another plan for you. My man and his friends came to pick my friends and I up from campus. As a good one. The minute one of my friends <laughs> saw my man, she started gassing him up. Saying stuff like, he's so cute, hey. and damn, he drives a nice car. Two hours after we got to his crib, I walked in on my man and my friend fucking. Akra! Akra! No! This just brings me back to what I said that women Two hours. are our own enemies. You get it. Hey. Two hours, like, the and babe did not wait. <laughs> she said, nah, I'm gonna catch you it's today, right now, right here. We're gonna catch direct, you. No? <laughs> Ooh, she said, it's now or never. No, but okay, <clears throat> I don't even know what to say. First of all, the friend, that's not your friend, sis. Please, why are you still calling her your friend? That's what she put in quotes. Okay, twice. yes. That, that's not, like, please, I hope you cut her out of your life completely. And the man, too, is at fault. Because don't you have any kind of self control, like, 
I mean, well, maybe he didn't really value the babe. He didn't really yeah. value. It. He didn't really care that much. Really for a good time, you know? Or maybe like the babe is the one who's holding the relationship together, so he can like, see whatever he does, she's still going to let it slide. That's the thing. Don't be desperate. Once yeah, you're, you're desperate, speaking from experience, my No, uh, I'm, I'm speaking from I'm you, speaking bro. from the wise teachers of Miss Sh- <laughs> Shira Steven. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. I listen to that babe like something because she's I'm wise. Okay. I'm speaking from experience. It's like it's like this. The only thing, like, anything yeah. I've experienced in this life is some things you guys you see somebody you see somebody you see maybe one day when i we'll talk about it i'll be there later yeah I'll be later there. i'll be there i feel like i've seen shige with a special song i've seen shige early so it has yeah it's like, yeah. yeah my ex-boyfriend sees my phone which i bought myself ah uh-uh. yeah, leave 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 this one there go <laughs> go 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 no go but wait but like i just said ex-boyfriend so they fled Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> no, no, it could be. Maybe it's a convention. Oh, you can't finish it. Let's finish. finish. Let's finish. He did this because I refused to accompany him to his station when I asked him to buy eye drop for me after work. The mumumi still stayed. No, know. but now they are exes. Yeah. Okay, so they flipped. Okay. There's nothing else to say. You've left the person. It's yeah. good you've left. Good and then, you. But then you wasted too much yeah. time. Let, so you allowed the person to waste too much time. So basically, time. They, were, they were at one place right together. She asked him to get eye drops for yeah. her on his way back. And, he, and she refused to walk with him to the throttle station. Yeah. That's hard. Now people are going through things. Oh, I feel like well. certain like, hardship and stuff. But certain uh, people allow you in, as, at her grown age, I'm seizing phone. <laughs> That's the thing that's busting my brain at your grown age. Phone that she have not bought for phone me. Like, exactly, yo. Like, even if he bought it for you, that's still hey, a bit childish. Hey, that's still a bit childish. You as your, like, as your father see your phone. Ah, oh. ah. He was on top of me. <laughs> and he was it started off head. strong. He went. <laughs> started off strong. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, what did he say? He was on top of me. <laughs> he was on top of me. And he was touching my arms. Hey, hey, why? It's getting too serious. <laughs> and he was checking his phone too from time to time while on me. On top. <laughs> he, was, he was on top of her. <laughs> and then how long grow for because <laughs> touching her arms. Like, wait, is this the whole confession or this is like a part one, part two, something? That's it. <laughs> What were you getting on to here? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, what, what, what was this going on? He was checking his phone from time to time while on me. So, then what is this? Like, so, what are we <laughs> supposed to use with this information? Like, we, we, <laughs> so just, we just wow and move. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Please, this is not a horror story. From the deepest of my heart, I won't. Ah. <laughs> read it, read it, read it. Say it. Read it. From the deepest of my heart, I want to tell you I'm very proud of you. Aww. Don't ever question your existence. Aww. And I wish you a very best in life. I wish you a very best in life. <laughs> oh, no, thank I you. wish Let's you a very best in life too. too. Let's put social media aside. You are loved by me. Oh, that's so deep. Heartwarming bro. hugs and kisses. Oh, please say Janice too. Jada. That's a kiss. That's it was a nice way to end. Yeah, that was cute. That was cute. Yeah. Oh, the person really said it from their heart too. Yeah. Hey, but how these? Hmm. I feel like the lesson to be learned is Accra is a dangerous place. Move with four eyes. <laughs> it's not that Accra is not for love; it's for business. Yeah. Mm. Do you understand? Because if you want to date over here. Please. This is triple shige. Shige, hey. shige pro max. <laughs> I beg you. Oh, and I said I wanted to say some tea, yeah. but hmm, this way I don't know I don't know when it's come out, but someone's serious boyfriend, right? Was like moving to me and all of that. And I got a call this afternoon that, oh, do you know the name of this person? And I was like, Yeah, this this this. And then she was like, she saw like me on the person's phone. Yeah. And then she was like, Oh, the guy gave her some crazy reassurance that baby had the only girl in my life. And he was even getting angry over yeah. that he, she could even think of like such a thing. And I was like, bro, the way you don't even know if you're being lied to, yeah. like someone giving you re- like that's why I'm like, mm. 
Ah. See, if someone wants to lie to you, the person will lie to you. Just so just trust like, your guts. Just trust, trust your, your guts. intuition. And expect everything. Like, don't think anything is impossible. Mm -hmm. Expect everything. See the story about. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. We've been talking non-stop for over an hour. So at this point, if you're not liking this video, you're wicked. You're wicked like all these men we've just spoken about. <laughs> I'll put Mahalia's YouTube link in the description box. So go subscribe to her channel, Leah Kat. We'll be filming a video for her channel as well. It's hot, hot, hot. So you don't want to miss it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, as always, I'll be back with more videos. Peace.